So I wasn't going to make a video about this, but I can't help it. So here I am. I'm wire wheeling the frame of my van so that I can paint it and prepare for winter. And I don't mean one of these little things. I'm using this. This takes it down to the metal for the most part. And it's about as good as it gets, short of removing the body and sandblasting the frame. I obviously don't have the facilities to do that. So for me, this is as good as it gets. Right now I just have the wheels off so that I can do the areas that are blocked by the wheels. Then once I'm finished there, I will put the van on ramps and I'll grind all of the parts of the frame that I can reach. Then I put some Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer, which I've had good success with. I have a gallon of it here. Two coats of that. And then two coats of gloss black. And hopefully the glossiness makes it easy to clean. So I've only been able to do in the wheel well areas so far. Have not had a chance to do anything else because of the weather. It rains constantly here. It's starting to get colder. It's getting dark earlier. I'm, I'm still pretty sure I'll get this done in time for the snow and salt. So any parts that I can't reach with the wire wheel, which is basically the top of the frame, I'm just gonna get some type of oil-based spray coating or whatever that is designed for winter protection. Look at this wheel though, I'm gonna have to replace this. That is ridiculous. I know people love it, but you really cannot be breathing clouds of dust. People love being in a cloud of dust for some reason. That's about as good as it will get with grinding and for the amount of energy that I have to do the grinding. And uh, I put the rust reformer on there and then two coats of base, oil-based black paint. That's as good as it can be. Back here really should be sandblasted, but I don't have the equipment. I have a sandblaster, but not a compressor. Plus sandblasting is a huge mess. Sorry, not a big enough compressor. This van was kept in the garage for most of its life. And within the past three years that I've had it, it's just, in the back here especially, it's just gone to hell. But that's the way it goes out here where it snows. Frame is still very solid not going to rust through anytime soon except for 
except for right here and maybe right here but yeah if I didn't treat it it would probably be gone in like two years all right so I have this back area done with paint have the hitch being done there it's all done in there and under here and once I finish up this back area I'll put the front up on ramps and I'll be able to finish up that front Okay, first time spraying fluid film. I'm gonna try it on this bumper at 40 psi. Try 60. All right, I've done that. Now all that's left to do is spray fluid film. And the reason why I don't spray the paint is because, uh, as you can see, I tried that on the front and it kind of oversprayed onto everything. And I don't really like that. So I'm just gonna use fluid film it doesn't really matter if that oversprays onto things. I couldn't reach like pretty much any part on the in inner part of the frame, like this side, because the gas tank's up next to it, the exhaust is up against it. So it's all getting sprayed with fluid film and I can finally be done with this thing. All right, so I'm finally ready for winter. Got done just in time, it's November 8th. Thanks so much for watching this video. If it helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this if you want to see more. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of what it takes to protect your frame for the winter if it's never been done before and it's just been left to rust. And as always, I'll have links in the description to the products that I used in the video. There are many other types of products that you can use. It's up to you. Do whatever you want. I used the lowest cost possible products. Each gallon of material is about $30. There are products out there that cost 150 bucks a gallon. I don't know what is the best. I just use what is available to me around here and what's easiest to get and work with for me. And I used about three quarters of each gallon. Three quarters of the primer, three quarters of the black paint and three quarters of the fluid film.
use four or five paint brushes. I also had a gallon of mineral spirits, which I only used maybe a half of. A couple mixing cups, paint, sti paint stirring sticks, eye protection, lung protection, hearing protection, uh, the grinding wheel. Oh yeah, and some nitrile gloves and a few rolls of paper towels.